In this evening's edition of A Ray of Hope, children get the opportunity to learn robotic coding. Drones, tablets, building blocks, robots. Training in robotic coding is now in session. The students, children from the primary and secondary levels. It's an outreach initiative hosted by Halls of Learning. Founder Marvin Hall says the aim is to get Jamaicans to catch up with technology. We are 20 years behind the leading countries in terms of our exposure to technology and to um, computer science and robotics. And so we're trying to play our role to expose and inspire more Jamaican kids to think about the STEM fields, think about mathematics, think about science, think about technology, engineering, and art and design, and use that interest to develop a much stronger population and a population that can begin to compete with the rest of the world. The group has been training youths since 2008. Mr. Hall believes the exposure is good, seeing where the world is now heading into a digital era. We've also been able to take a group of primary school children to compete in a robotics competition in Pittsburgh this past January where they won an award for the for elementary team excellence. I learned how to fly a drone using coding and also to navigate bots around a track. On the surface it looks easy, but behind it there's a lot of programming and precise things. Show that once children in Jamaica can have the right exposure and early exposure, they can compete with the best in the world. The Muslim Foundation and Seprad helped with this one-day event for over 400 students. CEO of Seprad Richard Pandoy says investing in the next generation will ensure the development of the skill set needed for the digital world. We think for Jamaicans to actually grow and to, to, to have economic prosperity, the next generation has to be going up the value chain of jobs. We're not just creating people with mathematical logic, we're creating leaders. With a ray of hope, I'm Ken Morgan.